Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna look at a really interesting question. And the question is zero squared minus zero to the zero power. What is this equal to? And I'd like you to do this problem without the aid of a calculator. So if you can figure this out, I'm gonna put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one moment. Now I am saying that 75% of you are gonna get this wrong. Well, I don't know if it's exactly 75% uh, of you that are going to answer this incorrectly, but uh, this is going to be quite confusing for a lot of you out there. So do this problem first without the aid of a calculator. I'll be talking about uh, how to um, uh, take powers of zero with your calculator. We'll have a little discussion on this, but this is a really important topic in mathematics and in algebra. And uh, the answer to this question actually might surprise you. So I'm gonna fully explain this in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you find it super interesting, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so zero squared minus a zero uh, to the zero power, what is this equal to? Again, put your calculators away. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. And just to make this more interesting, I have three answers here, um, and one or more of these answers are correct. Okay, so here is one answer. We have negative one. Another uh, answer is undefined. Okay, that's what this stands for. And then another one is zero. Okay, now if you came up with another um, you know, uh, answer other than these three, well then unfortunately you answered incorrectly. So which one is correct or which one is wrong? Well, let's uh, go ahead and answer this this way, okay? There's one of these answers that would be definitely incorrect and this is the one right here. So the answer is definitely not zero. So if you said zero, well, again, probably a lot of people uh, interpreted uh, this question as being zero, so don't feel bad, uh, but unfortunately that is incorrect. Now, if you did answer negative one or undefined, okay, both of these answers would be considered correct, and I'll uh, kind of explain this further in just a second. But uh, if, in fact, you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a lot about zero, a super important number in mathematics. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this here. So here's the problem, zero squared minus zero to the zero power. So uh, this part right here uh, is probably pretty easy for most of you. Uh, zero squared means what? Well, it means zero times zero. So zero times zero is just going to be zero. So if you got that uh, correct, uh, you know, most of you should have gotten that correct, then that's not a problem. What's confusing is this right here, zero to the zero power. This is the confusing part. Now, I said not to do this problem without the aid of a calculator, but if you were going to use a calculator, uh, these are the two buttons typically that you're going to find on your calculator, uh, depending if you're working with a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator, but you're going to be looking for buttons like this. So this is a very common button right here. This is a carrot button. Uh, so let's say you wanted two to the third powers. You want to, you want two to the third power. You want to figure that out in your calculator. So you would type in two, and then you would hit this button right here. That's like upside down B carrot, and then you would type in three, which would be the exponent. So this is the base, and then this is the exponent. So if you don't have this button, then uh, you likely have something button like this, which is exactly the same thing. So two cubed would be two, and then you would hit this button, uh, then hit three, and then of course two cubed is eight. So you need to know how uh, to take powers uh, using your calculator, and every calculator is a little bit different, but you know, it's pretty standard. It's gonna be one uh, or uh, one or two of these buttons. Okay, so I state that because if you go into your calculator, and you just take zero squared, if you um, if this wasn't clear that oh, zero times zero, zero times itself is zero, not a problem, but you can go into your calculator and do this. Now, again, I said not to use your calculator because this uh, part of the problem is the most confusing part. Okay, so if you did go into your calculator, okay, you would go zero to the zero power, 
and your calculator is going to return the number 1. All right. So 0 to the 0 power in your calculator is 1. All right. Now, there is an exception to this. Okay. In mathematics and more advanced mathematics, uh, it's not so clear. Okay. Well, and that's not correct either. Right. So let me take that back. It is clear, but I'm not, it's not um, for the purposes of this particular video. Zero to the zero power is, can also be interpreted as undefined. Okay, so I'll just kind of keep it, uh, um, you know, for that. But if, if you're saying, well, zero to the zero power is undefined, why is it that when I go into my calculator, I get zero to the zero power is equal to one? So both are correct. Now, when you get to more uh, sophisticated mathematics uh, for particular situations and things like that, then you can kind of uh, get further into this topic. But just in case you thought, oh, okay, anything to the zero power is one, that's pretty much the, the case, right? So if you have seven to the zero power, that is one. X to the zero power, that is one. So in algebra, you can have anything. You can have X, Y, Z, all that to the zero power, that is one. So just following the pattern, zero to the zero power is one. And if you go into your calculator again, you will find that zero to the zero power is equal to one. So you end up with uh, zero minus one or zero plus a negative one, which of course, is negative one. But again, if you are uh, astute uh, enough to know that, oh, zero to the zero power, that's undefined. So you have zero minus undefined. Well, that whole thing doesn't make sense. That is correct as well. Okay. So a little kind of a tricky situation with the power of zero or zero to the zero power. So if you were confused, well, I'm sure you weren't the only one. And don't feel so bad if you uh, thought the answer was zero. Again, a lot of you out there um, probably, you know, answer that. And is this a trick question? Well, maybe it's a little bit of a trick question, but, you know, you, zero is a number, you know, that you're going to have to know how to deal with, all right? And there are situations uh, in mathematics where you need to know how to deal with zero, especially like division of zero. So, for example, if you have zero divided by seven, and we compare that to seven divided by zero, what's the difference between uh, those two problems, right? Well, this right here, zero divided by seven, the answer to that is zero, okay? Seven divided by zero, the answer to this is clearly what we call undefined. You cannot divide by zero. So anyways, the more you know about zero, the better off you're going to be in mathematics. Now, if you need additional help with powers and exponents and bases and, and uh, things along that uh, this line, we are kind of talking about um, algebra, basic um, um, algebra concepts. So I would suggest uh, if you need additional help and you want full instruction on this, check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. That's a good starting point. I also have additional videos uh, on my uh, YouTube channel on these topics and much, much more. But here's the bottom line. Um, oftentimes, you know, students assume they know how to kind of uh, use their calculator um, to figure out problems, especially more advanced problems. And what I have found through the years is that a lot of students don't really know uh, or not familiar enough with all the functions on your calculator. So that's just a little kind of um, one last tip if you are taking some sort of course like, say, Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, you're going to have to get to know your particular uh, calculator. And I would suggest, again, I'm kind of going off a little bit of a tangent here, is that you stick with, if you haven't selected a calculator, stick with kind of more popular brands because you're going to find uh, your teacher or you're going to, it's just easier to kind of learn things like, say, the TI-84 um, um, functions versus, you know, picking a uh, calculator and they're all pretty similar but just a little bit of a, a tip there anyways with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day